Hi there. We're back. <laughs> All right. So today we are in the lab making some lipsticks. Oh, Facebook. I got it a little bit late. Hi, we got Facebook. Great. We got two screens here going on. We got Facebook. Facebook on this side, we got one side. We're gonna try and do a bit of both. One day I'll figure out how to. Uh, We're all over the place. We got one camera, make the whole thing work. So today we are in the lab. This is what the lab looks like, guys. And we are making some lipsticks. I've got my beautiful mama here. So for those of you who have not met my mom yet, That's here me. she is. It's Donna. My partner in crime. My partner in crime. Yeah, I know we're twins. I know. I hear it all the time. Lucky me. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my mother and I, we have started our own cosmetic line, and we're starting with lip. We coming soon. Line. Oh. To get started today, we I'm have share for my friends too. Right? Yeah. So today I've got we have our mold here. This is how we make our lipsticks, and I want to show you guys today how we pour and tube our lipsticks. Very so, fun. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our color. Today we're working on a red. Okay. All right. So we have some color. I know that my mom did the honors here, Donna. I'd like to give do a last minute stir. Give it a stir. I'm gonna let her go ahead and pour. So it just came off of the boiler. I can do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, so here we go with this color, which has no name yet. There we go. Oh, okay. Perfect. okay. Just perfect. Right. I guess let's put it back. I'll give you that back. Yay! So now the fun part is we wait. So now we have to put it into the fridge. Show what the color looks like. It's hard to tell. It's a beautiful deep reddish color. But what we can do actually, just to give you an idea, is we put a little drop on the hand. It's hot, and you can kind of just blend it in. Mark's go. And look at that color. Oh my gosh. Gluten free. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stick this in the fridge. We're very proud of the product that we're creating because even the cases are gonna be recyclable. So we hope you'll follow through and throw them in the blue box. Would you like to do the honors of putting it in the fridge? Yes, I will take it. I'll let you handle it. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, guys. So, <sighs> lipstick making is really fun. We've been having a blast here. Uh, we've got, we're working on about 18 different colors. So I'm curious to know, like, what are your favorite colors? What is your dream color to have in a lipstick? If you could pick anything, what's your go-to, need to have, this is my everyday, please tell me, I'd love to know what is your everyday lipstick. Um, what else do you wanna know? I'd like to know, I mean, do you prefer something shiny? Do you prefer something matte? Do you prefer um, gloss? Like, what are your favorite go-tos? We wanna make sure we make something for everybody. So this is the time to tell us what you want. In a lipstick. And the other thing I want to ask is, do you like liquid lipstick? Did you say that already? I, uh, no, I don't think I said liquid. Yeah, so for, liquid or for stick. matte, it's become really trendy to have your matte lipsticks in a liquid format. So we're just deciding, should we stick with that? Or does everybody like the old stick format? And is it more important to you to be able to just sort of slide it on your lips that I way? I know some people prefer to have it with a brush and a pot. Like, So what is your ideal way to apply lipstick? So I guess, like, yeah, there's the three options, right? So there's the stick, there's the liquid, and then there's the brush with the pot. Right. So let us know. We want to hear feedback about that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, okay, I said, like, a matte or glossy. Do people still wear gloss? Do you guys still love, like, is gloss still a go-to favorite? I never wear gloss. I never really wore gloss <sighs> because... I always found it so sticky. My hair was always in it. That's it. When I had my short hair, I really enjoyed wearing gloss. It, it definitely changed it for me. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like gloss, but I can't say it's my everyday go-to. Um, Hello, Holland. Oh, 
Maudie and greets from a girl in Holland. Hi, Maudie. <laughs> I squint to read because that's why I'm wearing the glasses. I can actually see what you're saying. Um, okay, that's for dream color. Where do you guys like to buy your products? Because this is going to be some, this is something we're working on right now. We're going to start with an online store so you can get everything online. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that's that's us. I buy all of my cosmetics online now. I, I, I avoid leaving the house whenever I can, honestly. <laughs> so, do you guys it's like? True. She does. I can vouch for that. Do you guys like to buy online? Do you like to go into a store? Uh, where do you find your lipsticks? Is it like, um, were you going through a magazine? Did you see an ad online? Or do you already know exactly what you want, what you're going for? I'm curious to know, like. And how do you, you pick a color? Do you go in and you know already? I want a pink. I want a peach. I want a red. Like, do you decide that way, or do you go in and do you ask for consultation for some advice on what would be the best color? Do you wear do you wear lipstick as like an everyday, almost like you know, like wearing jeans? It's your kind of everyday go to color, or do you wear lipstick for special occasions and you right. want to have something a little fancier than? Your and do you feel certain colors are more suited to certain activities in your life? Like, is there a color you would wear to work that you wouldn't wear to play, let's say? Play. Movies. You know, <laughs> hanging out with the kids. Stuff like that. Yeah. Sitting, sitting around watching TV. What's your favorite go-to list? Well, I would never put a red on just to sit at home. <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't die. For me to wear a red, it's a real occasion anyways. I, I like to wear red. I, I, I can pull off a red for an every red day. Red. I like it. I go to a nude when I'm actually trying to go more fancy. I do have the eyes. I like to put on a nude. I think I'm, I think I'm the opposite. Maybe Leah, it's an age thing. I, I like for someone to swatch them on different skin tones, like via Snapchat or Insta, then purchase online. Thank you. That's great. wonderful Great idea. Feedback. Great suggestion. I yes. love it. And we will do it. Fortunately, you got two very two different skin tones, skin tones right here so you can see what this one lipstick is that we're making today on different skin tones and you're right it really does change it, it is affected by your skin oh tone. for sure okay lisa says i get free lipsticks and the clinique gift bags when i purchase something for at least 27.50 okay great so you wouldn't actually so lisa you so wouldn't you never go buy a lipstick you never buy a lipstick for yourself you, you wait for the freebies this is interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Well, what if we did like sort of like um, we had our own gifts bag, gift bags, like, but for lipsticks. <laughs> like you know, I've heard of these like buy a hundred lipsticks, buy a hundred lipsticks, get one free. No, but there's like these monthly gift bag things that you can get now, where you get like a gift bag comes to your house of all right. sorts of different all products, of all new things to try. Do you guys Fun like stuff. this system where you don't really know what's coming? It's sort of a mystery bag. And maybe one of our lipsticks will be in there. Monty says, my favorite is natural pink. Thank you, Monty. That's that's what I would call like sort of like my jeans color. It's my everyday natural, it's almost like your lipstick. natural lip color. And Ashley likes to wear a brownish red, which is ah, also really Ashley nice. Ashley says, I wear a deep rustic brown color with every outfit. I can't live without my lipstick. But I found for me, I stick with the darker red browns. Very cool. I just wanted to go back to something you just said a minute ago, though, like all those the freebies that you get from whatever company. Um, I, for one, never went for that because I am so fussy about what goes on my lips. I find everything was making my lips too dry and too yeah, that's a very good point. and appealing and I was having all kinds of reactions. So the freebies were almost never any good for me. I used to give them to you. <laughs> that's where so, I started. For me, I always bought my lipstick, but my eyeshadows, I love those freebies because that, you know, that was easier for me to wear. So I'm really fussy about my lipstick. Are you people fussy about your lipstick too? Are you looking for specific results, specific textures, or can you wear just anything out there? Um, I'm also, I'm fussy. I think I'm fussy with all of my makeup, with everything, even like, lipstick, especially because lipstick, you'll be ingesting it and you don't really know what you're ingesting everything else is more of how it settles on my face the freebies are fun because you get to try different things and explore but i've never really i don't think i've ever gotten anything from like a one of these gift bag giveaways like the clinique or the long combs i don't think i've ever gotten something for free that i was like i love this and i have to buy it again really actually now that i really think of it I, I think I did. Yeah, I have maybe, a, a maybe couple, couple of eye, maybe a couple lipstick, eyeshadows maybe and maybe a lip gloss. Lip gloss is kind of easy, but lipstick I have been very picky about. The color matters to me, and the texture and how it feels on my lips really matters to me.
Jessica says a good nude that doesn't blend into your skin tone is so hard to find. It, 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 <laughs> for sure, Jess, because a nude is a skin tone. So you have to look for a skin tone. I should let the makeup artist comment. But my feedback, we'll see what she says, is you have to look for a nude that's not what your skin tone is. So like me, I have kind of olivey kind of skin and I, I like to wear more pinky nudes for me. That seemed to work better on me. And I actually kind of like wearing a nude lipstick that does blend in with my skin. Yeah. Sometimes I like that look of my lips almost disappearing. Um, sometimes I get a little bit of an outline. Or another good um, piece of advice for you, Jess, is that if you are having a hard time finding something that will not blend into your skin, throw on a slightly darker lip liner and that will help solve a lot of your problems. But hopefully, out of one of our collection uh, lipsticks, you will find the something exact nude that you're looking for. That's right. Uh, Tommy, Tommy says, your Peter Cushing was awesome. Thank you, Tommy. Not the video for that. We're talking about lipsticks today, Tommy. But thank you. I appreciate that. Do you think there's a difference between like an age-related thing as to the nude somebody would wear? Because like me in my age, I shudder to think, I, I can't wear a real nude. I don't know if it's because of my skin tone or because it just doesn't work at my age group. Okay. I'll stop you right there. As a makeup artist, I don't believe and I don't buy into this. Um, that's not suitable for my age. I can't wear that yes. because of my age. <laughs> I think it's an excuse. I think that what you wear is a lot of a confidence thing. I mean, not anybody can just walk out in a red lipstick. You have this to wear a red lipstick with confidence. It's um, like a red dress too. In a way. It is. And, or red shoes, anything red. It's a really powerful. A hundred percent. If you're not confident about what you're wearing, no, it's not going to look good on you. And everyone's going to see how uncomfortable you are. And if you're wearing a red lipstick, you're not confident one, you're going to feel like you're following your lips into a room and it shouldn't be that way. You should feel good about what you're wearing. So I don't no. buy this whole age thing. I do agree that sometimes if somebody has very thin lips that maybe a dark color isn't great for you because dark will make smaller. your lips look smaller. So there is that, that case, but that's the only thing I can think of. And even then, if you have thin lips, it doesn't matter what age you are, if you want to wear a dark color and you're going to wear it with confidence, you will wear it well. <laughs> but I just, I'm, I'm laughing as you're talking about red because <laughs> I shouldn't be promoting the show, but if any of you watched The Bachelor this week, <laughs> like almost all the women wore red. Which Everybody was, was in a red dress. I couldn't believe it. So like, they, and there's a perfect example. Those girls walked in with confidence and it was a very, um, it's a powerful color to wear red. But it, but they were shattered once they saw everybody That's was wearing it. red. That's it. Like, it, like it suddenly was like their confidence. Yeah, it was probably shattered at that point. Oh my god! The I laughed at the woman who said um, she chose not to wear red, so she wore pink. So didn't one girl say she chose not to wear red and she ended up wearing a dolphin shark costume? <laughs> it was still a debate. She wants to be a dolphin, a shark. but she's dressed as a shark. Spoilers, guys. Sorry if you haven't watched yet. All right, so. Um, Lisa says, nude washes me out with ivory skin and light hair. Yes. Okay, so depending on the nude, if it's too nude and too much like your skin color, it can wash you out. It would only be appropriate if you really played up the eyes and made your eyes a lot darker and maybe worked on the contouring and you wouldn't feel as washed out. But that's a great, great point. Yes, I know that people can feel that way sometimes, but I'm willing to promise you that I can find a way around all of your lipstick wearing insecurities. You might wear a nude to do you need lip liners for nudes? Sometimes, yes. Like I said before to Jess, that if you want to have that sort of um, definition and separation between your skin color and your lips, a lip liner will help with that. It'll kind of just sort of separate the two. But you don't want to go like back to the oh, 80s, 90s. Oh my God, we had no, 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 no. You want to make sure it's blended. So you want to fill in your lips uh, with the lip liner a little bit more too, and you can kind of blend it together. That's, it's... It's not easy, guys. I'm going to go check on the lipsticks. Go check on the lipsticks. All right, we have more comments. Mandy says, um, is there some kind of foundation you recommend for people with a dark African skin? Mandy, I highly recommend check out Makeup Forever. They have something for everybody. They have every skin tone you can dream of. I'm sure you will find something there. And they have different textures for everybody. So I really hope you find something. Somebody else really good. I think it's um, Kat Von D has a wide variety of shades, 
but uh, I'm really, I'm a big fan of Makeup Forever. They have, like I said, every shade you can think of, whether it's yellow undertone, red undertone, anything you want, and any texture that you want. Uh, Eleni, Eleni? Eleni says, make a matte holographic lipstick. Matte holographic. I like the sound of that. Not really, lips look I'm not really sure. Really, <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means, Lenny. But no, I, I like the sound of that. A holographic. Do you mean like a metallic? Is that what you're trying to say? Like matte, but like, like it sort of. Like I'm thinking holographic. Like it sort of changes colors as you like when you move. You see different tones. Oh, okay. So here we go. I don't know if you guys can see right now. Uh, my mom is now just scraping off the first top layer of the lipsticks here. If you want, just sort of tilt it up so they can see what you're doing here for a second. So see, we're just taking off excess. We already had other lipsticks going in there. Um, so you'll see a little bit of everything. I'm not sure if they're really completely set yet. I'm gonna check it in a minute. Um, they've been in for 10 minutes, so they're probably good. It looks pretty good, actually. So let me bring it here. But um, tell me more about lipstick, guys. What are your concerns? I am sure that I can solve anyone's problem that they feel they have in terms of wearing a lipstick. The biggest trouble there is to have is my mother, for example, uh, is very fussy with lipsticks because it makes her lips very, very dry most of the time. It's been very hard for her to find a lipstick that's not drying. And this is why we have started making lipsticks for people that suffer with this issue of dry lips. So that's one problem that I'm sure I'm solving right now. That's, it's, it was a major focus, because I said, if I'm gonna start making lipsticks, it has to work on me, right? Norma says, congrats, love this duo. Thank you, Norma. <laughs> Thank you, Norma. We're the dream team. <laughs> um, I have the same problem as your mom. Okay, so there we go. Oh, hey, Kelly. Um, okay, so Norma has the same problem with dry lips. So Norma, you're gonna be thrilled. Hey, when you find out that our lipsticks are super like hydrating, they have all active ingredients inside. Active ingredients <laughs> is in, um, they're actually doing something for your lips. Either it's like plumping or anti-aging or adjusting fine lines. There's something active in all the we ingredients. We have some really using. cool ingredients that we can't really share with you because it's kind of our secret formula in a way. But some interesting things to lipstick in general. And some, one of the things that differentiates us from some of the other lipstick brands, and I'm not going to point fingers at anybody, but all of our ingredients are like solid active ingredients. We're not loading up with filler, which a lot of the other companies, that's how they keep price down. They put filler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not to say. There's hey, lots of filler and lots of other brands. And, um, and that's why sometimes, you know, your lipstick melts so quickly. Have you noticed? It's, you know, you're out for the day and the lipstick's in your purse. or And it comes back out like this. <laughs> not really cool, you know. And we did we tested ours over the summer and we'll, it'll be going through more tests as well. And ours do stand up, I'm happy to say. At the beach, wherever. If you guys are on vacation, you can take as many lipsticks as you want and they are going to come back intact. So that is the problem with a lot of the lipsticks on the market right now. That a lot of people don't even realize. They automatically think, oh, hey, this is a great price and I love the color. So good, I'm going to use this. And then before you know it, the lipstick either breaks or it has melted and it's not standing up to... You know what, there's an old expression, you get what you pay for, and more often than not, that is the case. By the way, Claire says, your mom, I like you too. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Yes, this is my mom, she could be my sister. It's good genes. This is, this is the before, this is the after. This is like looking into the future here. I'm That's lucky. It. Back to the future. I'm very lucky. Um, all right, Maddie has the same problem as you too, Mom. Hi, Barbara. Uh, Kelly, you need to bleach your beard for true color. Any ideas? Um, don't do it yourself. Kelly, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Kelly, go see a barber to bleach your beard. I don't suggest doing it yourself. Kelly, I'm hoping you're a guy. Yes, Kelly's a guy. <laughs> Kelly, okay. Kelly's been a fan favorite for a long time okay, now. Good. I'm really happy to hear that. Um, Barbara says, what a beautiful duo. I am a believer. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, are you guys ready to see the lipsticks? Yeah, see how we do this now? This is the fun part. Okay. Okay. So, we so yeah. Oh, wait, we got one here stuck. All good here. I'm making a mess. Sorry. Right, I, I'm not, oh, 
I'm not sure it was 100% set. We'll find it's out. That's fine. Oh, bro, look. Yeah, you said all good here. Yeah, I mean, they <laughs> were all coming attention. out. attention. <laughs> okay, now i got a problem, It's okay, guys. it's okay. Let's just I'll poke them through. I think they were set too much. Yeah, all right, I guys. I think that's it. They were double set. Normally, you know, obviously, they were going to for the professionals to do this with their gloves on. These are for us only. So yeah, they're just, <laughs> they're just our set. They're just ours, so we can we use our fingers. Take all the tests and make sure it passes all our questions. Vanessa. Vanessa says, oh, my God, your mom is beautiful. So are you. Send kisses from Brazil. Thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa in Brazil. Mwah. Thank you. Norma says, you two kill me. Cannot wait to try the lipsticks. We can't wait for you to try We it. can't wait. It's going to be soon. Okay, so that's a good. Okay, so now we're gonna take like, this empty tube, and we push down, and we lift up. We have lift off. Et voila! Et voila! How gorgeous is that? They're not lightsabers, so let's do this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna tube all of them because these will be our samples. So what we do is we come here and we try a new batch, and it's very much trial and error. And we got the two of us, so it's a pretty fair sampling mm -hmm. of um, lips and our, our needs are different so um, I look for as I said I, I for me it's critical that it's highly moisturizing and not dehydrating for me I like it to be long-lasting and I also I I really care about the ingredients I see those are my two most important factors in a lipstick now these days the ingredients make a huge deal especially since we started doing this and I've Learn. I don't know about you, but I've learned all these awful ingredients and chemicals and everything they're putting into some of the other stuff, and then you're eating it, and that scares me. I, I the mean, good news is the FDA is finally putting down some regulations on it. They've really been lax in that area, and what they're doing is they're the first ingredient that they're tackling is lead. You've seen all the emails that there's lead in your lipstick. There's lead. Well, guess what? Yeah, there's lead in a lot of your lipsticks, unfortunately. To Small amounts, of course, but who wants any lead in their lipstick at all? Yeah. There will be none in ours, by the way. But uh, the FDA has now set a guideline as to what is a permissible level for lipstick in particular because they acknowledge that you're actually eating it when you when you drink, when, yeah. you, when you eat, when, whatever you do. You know, just kissing somebody, you're passing along. And it's the, the uh, skin on your lips is really more of a like a mucosa or a mucosa membrane or something. So it, it absorbs much faster than what's on your cheeks, for example, yeah. which is why um, the products are not necessarily transferable. Exactly, which is some things are not for eyes as they are for lips. We just got a great question here from Miriam says, are your lipsticks cruelty free? 110% yes. Um, no yeah. testing ever on any animals not. at no any stage animal of production. Nothing. No animal products. We feel so <laughs> strongly about this. Um, a lot of people don't even realize where a red color will come from. There's an ingredient that we we don't use anymore. We had started with it. We realized we can't use it. There's an ingredient called carmine. And it's that's in most, where most it is in, it's in most red lipsticks, even in pinks. Anything that has a little bit of a red in it, has carmine in it. And carmine comes from? Insects. It's a it's a kind of a beetle shell. It's like crushed bugs, essentially. Crushed. That's what you're putting on. That's what you're putting on your lips. I mean, in medieval times or ancient times, okay, if that's how you need to make your lipsticks. They made paints that way, too, from you know, sources from nature. But it's not necessary. No. I'd rather find my protein somewhere else. Absolutely. <laughs> now, we take the cruelty one step further because not only are we – no animals have been hurt in this process. There's no children working in any of the factories who will be producing for us. Uh, there's no slavery. It's fair business practices. We've been interviewing whoever we're going to be working with because it's really important to us that it's right through from, from here in the lab to when it comes to you, that no body, no living thing has been hurt in the process. Exactly. But yes, yeah, so absolutely, we, we don't believe that any product needs to have an animal-based product in it. Even like even beeswax, it's, it's just we eliminate the beeswax. Eliminated beeswax. Um, believe yeah. it or not, people think beeswax is so harmless and honey is so harmless. But if you read up about it, the processes they use to remove the beeswax from the hive is nuts. Yeah. And bees are so endangered right now. 
the whole planet is killing bees and we really need to protect them in any way we can. So let's leave them alone. We don't need their wax and we don't need their honey and let them do their we thing. We don't, yeah. Um, Should we try on the lips? Yeah, thank you, Alexandra. Congrats, Carly. Yes, okay, you guys were able to see this. Da -da -da -da. Do you have yours ready? I'll let, I'll let you use the mirror. I'm gonna use this, the camera here, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm a little more blind. So I'm Wish me blind. luck. I think I need the magnifying so. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, I made a mess. Oh, I went too high on my Cupid's bow. I'll take the mirror now. I need a, wait, I'm not oh. done. Oh, my God, what do you guys think? Well, I don't know if you could see what I did, but I didn't put it on so great. I really needed to take... This is something Carly has explained to me too. With red lipstick, you really need to take a little more care on how you're putting it on because it's not as forgiving when you make a mistake and go outside the lines. Remember when you use the color? Same kind of thing. So what some people say is you should line it and you, if you don't want to wear a liner, that's fine. I'm not so big on lip liner myself. But you can line your lips with the lipstick, in fact, and then you fill it in. Oh, it's so What do you nice. think, guys? Wearing dark lipsticks like this make your teeth so white. Yeah, oh my Maudie God. likes the color. Thank you, Maudie. So Thanks, Ashley, Vanessa. So Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Maudie. Hmm. Oh, it's such a pretty red. Hmm. What do you think? Do you guys like really this? Nice. Really nice on you too. It's a nice color. Let's so here we go, guys. We have got two different shades. Yeah, there you go. Two skin tones. I can already see the difference, even though I don't see well from far. I see that it's much brighter on you, and it looks much deeper on me somehow. Right? Yeah, is that what you see? Is it the light? Change place for me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no, it still looks brighter on you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's somehow a little, a touch deeper on you. Hmm. I'll tell you something. Look how white it makes you. Too. <laughs> look how. That's the beauty of some of these bright colors that they really make your teeth pop. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Look at All right. that. All right, so. Especially because it has no orange in this. This color has a lot of um, blue undertone. Yes, yeah, so it is a So it actually makes your red, teeth Vanessa. look whiter. Um, a lot of reds, just be careful with. Some of the reds that have a little bit on the orange side can make your teeth look a bit more yellow. So if you um, aren't using those uh, crest right white strips, what about nudes? An easy nudes salt? Don't, nudes don't no, they don't. I'm saying with red. Red will often get worried about the teeth make the teeth look yellow. It's really more like an orangey red that would do that. So if you stick to the blue reds, it actually makes your teeth look whiter. Which that's what this is. There was somebody, I don't remember who it was, was talking about the rusty reds and the red browns, and that's not what this is, by the way. No, it's it's really more it like But it's deep. It might yeah. be nice on you. You might be surprised. It's deep. It's not like a fire hiking red. It's no, like, a, like a cherry almost. Exactly. Like a cherry, cherry red. red. Yeah, it has cherry red. So it's a little easier to wear for me anyway. Mm. It feels so nice. Mm. Creamy. It's really creamy. My lips mm. actually feel hydrated already. Really nice feeling. I'm so excited for you guys to try these. We, we have a few more to colors to make today. We have a few more things to do. Some finalizing. So stay tuned because uh, hopefully within two months we should be ready to launch. We're hoping for early March. We'll keep you posted. For sure. This was lots of fun. And we still have one more here. We'll, we'll just go ahead and tube this. So again, we'll just take the empty tube. It's just a whatever empty. And go upside down. And da 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 da. So we're still interested in your feedback. So even though we finish. You could still put your comments and your questions, you know, whatever you write. We'll be happy to answer your questions. If you have suggestions for a name, guys, we, and, need, and we need names for lipsticks, too. So I'm always open-minded. Yeah, you have a good suggestion. You, what you would like you call this? with a number or a name? Oh, that's a good, good, good question, yes. That's I like both. I like to have a number and a name. You know, I want the Carly number 18. <laughs> right. So the number is good for stock and inventory purposes. But for me, I, I remember a name better than... A number, I think. I guess for me, just working in retail, I've had to learn both. So I guess that's just 
my thing, but I like the names. The names are always fun. Um, Warren asks, are you making lip liners too? Yes, we are going to make lip liners too. Uh, that'll be coming next after lipsticks, yeah. hopefully. Our, and first, our first asks, one will be uh, lipsticks. And when, and where, when and where will they be available? We're going to be starting with online, so you'll be able to get them online. And uh, hopefully soon they'll be in stores. So stay tuned. We will be keeping you posted through this site and through others as we develop our brand. If you guys have more questions, like now is the time, I really want to know, or we're here for a little bit longer. Did I, I, I had written out, I swear, I wrote in a list of questions. I wanted to ask you guys, your feedback is so important to us. Um, yeah, we're, we're counting we're on you. We're doing this for you. We're doing it, it's a little bit for ourselves as well, of course, but we want to make a product that is for you. So everyone is happy with it, that everybody gets what they're looking for. Um, so we're having the best quality ingredients, um, very trendy colors, <coughs> beautiful packaging, uh, keeping it cruelty free. Vegan, I know not everybody cares about the vegan thing, but hey, it's just an added bonus too. Why not? It save, ensures there's no the animal animals. products. Why, why do you want the animal products in there? I don't need them. No, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't know. So Barbara wants lip liners. Barbara will be making lip liners. We're making lip gloss. We're starting our line with all lip-based products. So gloss, yes, we'll lip liner, with. lipstick. We're going to do lip treatments, lip plumpers, lip scrubs. The only thing we're not making is lips. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure that one. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was We're great seeing you all. Today. And please, if you have any more questions or comments, please, I really, I can't stress enough how important your comments are yeah. to us. We really want to know your feedback because we want to make sure you guys are getting the product of and your the dreams. Most, the most important thing too, when you buy a lipstick, what is the most important thing? It's an easy question. It does, it does price matter more or does color matter more? If you find the color of your dreams, does price really matter? Do the ingredients matter? Are you willing to pay more for better ingredients? Or, like, what is it for you? I, is the quality important to you? You know, like, for example, like in your kitchen, you can buy olive oil and you can buy olive oil. And there's the olive oil that's, you know, the no-name brand that they call it olive oil. And then there's the high-end stuff that comes from Italy that is a pure olive oil, much more expensive. So do you value that? Do you, do you value? For me, we're putting it on our lips, we're ingesting it. I want the best ingredients I can get. So yeah, just something for you guys to think about and uh, share your feedback with us whenever you can. Thank you for we're watching. Waiting to hear from you. Thanks for joining us today. See you again soon. Stay warm in this winter cold. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.